It's interesting when you walk on walls because people always call you about walls, you know. They see a wall coming up there, they pass by a wall every day, they're like, oh, you should do this wall. Well, there's a wall that I keep hearing, you know, and especially because someone in the media was bringing it up constantly, is the wall between Mexico and US that was built by the US years ago. And I've never thought of it because it's a see-through wall, so I never knew how to pace on it. But then because people keep, you know, coming to me about doing something on this wall, I decided to go there and sit by myself. And, you know, you can just drive by the wall. Actually, there's a road that go alongside of the wall. So I started from the US side. I wanted to find a place where I could do an installation that would play with the wall, but not touch the wall. So we started looking around Tecate, which is, you know, uh, uh, not even an hour away from Tijuana uh, and a couple hours from San Diego. And we passed the border there uh, at, 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 you know, the, the checkpoint and then went in Mexico. And I looked for the house that was the closest from the wall. And uh, there was one house that was actually a bit closer. And you can see it on the picture is the one on the top left. Uh, because what you're seeing, the photo here is being taken from the U.S. side. So the houses that you're seeing are in Mexico. And that house on the top, uh, we went and knocked at the door. And actually there was, you know, a little garden in front and some chickens and a dog. And, you know, the grandparents was outside and there was a baby in his crib. And the mother came and, and she said, oh, hey, I think I follow you on Instagram. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Are, are you sure? I'm, you know, I think you're, uh, you're mistaking me. And she said, oh, no, 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 I, I, I'm pretty sure. And then I showed her and then she said, oh, yeah, yeah, you're this artist that do the black and white images. You can use my house if you want. And I remember scouting with her and going and she was really one of the closest from the wall. But it was, it was you know, it was a bit too much on the heel and it would not work really well. So I said, thank you so much, you know. Uh, it, it, I'll let you know if it works, but I don't think I can do anything here. But I'll try to do something in the region, so I'll keep you posted. So then we left and we looked at the other houses. And there was just, uh, you know, down those houses, there was just a big piece of land that we didn't know who it was. And then we drove all the way to Tijuana. But on the way, I was like, well, in that house, there was this kid. And this kid was in his crib looking over. But all he see in front of him is this big wall. But he don't know what's a wall. He don't know what side he is on and what is, why there's even like a separation wall there. And I said, that's the kid I should photograph. So we went back there and then came back an hour later and the woman said, oh, did you forget something? And I was like, no, no, I just wanted to ask you if I could photograph your son. Uh, but I don't know yet, you know, if that would work. But he's just, you know, uh, if it happened, I would call you back and come back to you to discuss it. She said, sure, sure. And I didn't even move the kid. The kid was holding in his crib like this and I just took the photo like that. And then we looked at the place and actually right in front of the house, this piece of land, no one seemed to know who it was. And it's hard to know on the US side what is still the U, uh, you know, because when they build the wall on the Mexican side, the, it's still US for a couple of feet because if the US government needs to go and fix something on the wall, so that this way they don't have to ask for a permit. They can just go around and do it. So we knew we couldn't get any authorization for something like that. So the easiest way to do it is just do it. So we went and rented a caterpillar and we started digging on the Mexican side to level the ground. And, you know, we were like, okay, if someone stop us, we'll apologize and we'll say, we're sorry, we'll put the sand back together and, you know, we'll give the caterpillar back. There was a lot of border patrol on the other side, constantly helicopters and cows. But as we keep digging, no one seemed to bother. So we kept on digging and none of the neighbors seemed to bother also. So we kept on digging, you know, and digging until we could do a nice flat surface. And after like 20 days of digging, we had a nice flat surface. So we went to a scaffolding company on the Mexican side and said, hey guys, would you build a scaffolding for us here on that lot? We made it flat. They were like, sure. And anyone can do that. If you go to any scaffolding company and ask them to build something somewhere, they'll build it. They assume you have the permit. So they came and started building the scaffolding. And that's where I was, okay, maybe there 
we're going to get in trouble because we're going to build a scaffolding that's three times the size of the wall. But weirdly, no one stopped us. And we kept on building and building and building. And then they put wood panel and suddenly it was three times the size of the wall. But no one came and no one stopped us. So then we came with the image of the kid after having discussed with the mother and the whole family, actually. And in one day, with a group of friends, we pasted the entire, you know, scaffolding and structure. One day. And by the end of that day, passed back on the other side. I took off my hat and glasses and I could cross again. And then I was completely anonymous and we drove back on a car and suddenly stumbled around those two border patrol that was just looking at the kid. And that's when I took that photo. And that day, I just took that photo and I was like, okay, let's get out of here, you know? And we rented the scaffolding for one month. So we were like, let's see what happened. So we went back to New York and followed it over social media. And the more we would follow, the more we would see people who started coming there because I had given the location and I told people you can go there easily. It's, you know, it's free and it's legal to access it and to park your car and to go see it. And not only people came from the U.S., but people came also from Mexico. And what happened is that people came there to take a photo of the kid, to take a selfie in front of the kid. What they didn't realize is that they would see the other through the wall, which is see-through, doing the same thing. So something happened that I could not plan, which is that people started passing their phone through the fence and grabbing the phone of the other and taking photos of each other through the wall. But normally this is completely illegal. Normally this is something that you get arrested for because you could be passing who knows what. And every day I would see more and more photos of people exchanging their phone to take photos of each other. And I was wondering, wow, what are those border patrol on the hills doing? Maybe they just let it happen. I couldn't believe that that was possible, that they wouldn't say anything. And then we left and Kikito stay there for one month and people could come and visit him anytime they wanted and people shared photos and went there to take photos and it actually gave me idea to continue that project. 